the Ryukyus, Japan's southern jewel. A chain of islands that stretch 600 kilometers from Okinawa to Taiwan, that lies in the heart of the Western Pacific's Typhoon Alley. And this is where my 2021 chase season begins. I've chased over 18 typhoons in the Ryukyus, but this is only my second visit to Ishigaki, so I'm keen to hit the road and get exploring. Check this out, I've never seen anything like it. I think these are Okinawan shisas. It just goes on and on, seemingly forever. They're hiding in the bushes. Look at this one, it's like, he's terrifying and he's got two little friends. Most people live right on the southern coast of Ishigaki, so when you get out of town to the northern parts of the island, it's really wild and rural up here. It's beautiful. I just stumbled across this extremely cool mangrove forest. You can see people stash their boats in here. This is one of the best forms of protection against storm surge, uh, waves from typhoons and hurricanes. Just spectacularly beautiful. The Ryukyus are a magical place. Island chasing is really, it's tough. There's a lot of very hard decisions that need to be made. And this chase in particular is, has been a challenging one because the, the storm is moving so slowly. So I've had to get here three days before it's due to him. All right, the rain's letting up. Might be a good time to go check out the lighthouse. We're now well. As the outer bands of Typhoon Infar start sweeping over Ishigaki, I scope out some of the small fishing harbours that dot the island's coast. It's a beautiful spot. It's a good location. This is somewhere I'd be happy to ride out a, you know, a week of Typhoon in the car. There's a heavy squall coming in. I gotta run under cover quickly. Just in time. All my preparation complete, it's now a matter of waiting to see how strong the typhoon gets and just how close it tracks to Ishigaki. With the typhoon taking a path to the east of Ishigaki, I take one last trip to the extreme northern tip of the island. just approaching the lighthouse now and as expected it's really exposed up here. I just need to be careful because this is a really really small road so if any big trees fall down across it I'm going to be stuck up here and that is not the situation I want to find myself in. as I can physically get to the center of the typhoon. I have literally run out of land. And this is really the nature of island chasing. You have to choose your target well in advance, get onto location, and then just see what nature brings. Despite the eye wall being so close, winds across most of the island remain surprisingly weak. Infar is a huge typhoon. With the energy spread over such a large area, its intensity is kept in check. 
Conditions have been pretty tame so far. I've got the radar up here. Now, if this orange stuff manages to wrap around and get over the island here, conditions could really deteriorate quite quickly. So I'm keeping a very close eye on this. It soon becomes clear if I'm gonna get any decent shots of this storm, I'm gonna to have to jump in the car and go hunt them down. Our conditions are really going downhill now. This is the worst weather so far of the typhoon. It's picked up remarkably in the last 10 minutes or so. I really, really do not like driving under these big trees when the weather's like this. I just wanna get through this part as quickly as possible. Get through these trees. of Imfar tracks just 15 kilometers to the east of Ishigaki and as it starts to move north the winds ease off and I head back into town. Been up since four o'clock I'm knackered uh, it's about four in the afternoon now I'm kind of done with this typhoon so I'm back at the hotel and more or less ready to call it a day. Ishigaki is well geared up for storms so thankfully Imfar inflicts minimal damage and as the typhoon moves away the island starts to spring back to life. Oh, it's buzzing again. People are back out on the streets. Typhoon Infar is finally gone after making everything grind to a halt across the whole island chain for the last three days. Infar's parting gift, the most spectacular sunset I've ever seen in 17 years of chasing.